where downtown United Soccer Club emerges victorious in a quite hefty one-sided affair. 6-0 against New York Dutch Lions FC. Alongside me first is Dylan Jovanovic. Now, Dylan, you scored a screamer to really Thank make you. it 5-0. How were you able to position yourself accordingly to get open from that through pass? So I was playing the 8 with Emily, who was also playing the 8. And so she kind of tucked in under, and then I was able to go through behind her because she dropped in. And then she sent me a through ball down the wing, and then I was able to cut in and sort of hit it with my right foot from an angle. Now, from that angle, you were able to deliver a ton of topspin. Tell me what was running through your mind as soon as you saw that ball crash the back of the net. I think just excitement. I was a little frustrated at myself because I missed some chances in the first and second half that I felt like I should have had. And so it's kind of nice when you get the ones that you think maybe not as obvious or clear chances. So... Just excitement when I hit the net. Now, similarly, I do want to ask you about how the team was able to put the, really always keep their foot on the gas pedal today. How would you describe that mentality of Downtown United Soccer Club? I think it's just everyone's hungry, everyone wants the ball, and we all want to go at it because we want to be our best when we go into school in August and we go on to our you know, future things that we have going on. So I think it's just everybody wants to um, just show all they can, get every chance they can. So it's just about getting minutes and every minute you're out there, you just want to push as hard as you can. So I don't think anyone was thinking about the score. They just wanted to get their moments in. That was clearly shown here though. Again, it's still a hefty 6 nothing scoreline. Yeah, and of course, you mentioned Cook, how she played the pass to you. And of course, coming up next herself is Cook herself, Emily Cook. So thank you very much, Dylan, <laughs> as she applauds her teammate. Now, Emily Cook, Talking about ingenuity, somehow you were able to thread the needle toward Dylan Jovanovic. Now, of course, the appropriate question would be, how were you able to pinpoint her among so many orange jerseys? Um, I think the whole game, um, the other team was playing with a really high line, so there was a lot of opportunities for the slip passes. And Dylan, we had a lot of offsides, but Dylan was able to hold her run, and you know she made the perfect angled run right through. So, um, yeah, it's worked out. And speaking of things working out, offensively, you guys seem to be perfectly in sync, perfectly on cue. Now, one important asset of the game was the constant high press system that Downtown United Soccer Club was applying. So I was hoping that you would further describe that to us here on Game and Frame. Yeah, I think that's really important a, p a piece of um, how we play. We like to press early and try to win it, and we, I think we score like two or three goals off of that press. Um, it's usually our first player locking it on one side, and then once everyone knows what to do and we all go together, and it um, was positive for this game. It also went hand-in-hand hand with the possession-based style of play that Downtown United Soccer Club had displayed all throughout the 90 minutes. So I was also hoping that you would talk about the, the fact that Downtown United Soccer Club seemed relentless with possession in the final third. Yeah, I think a huge factor of that, too, was the heat. We wanted to keep the ball and not be running. True. Everyone was really tired, so the best way to deal with that is just keeping the ball. Um, so our coaches made it very clear to us, you know, one, one two touches and just play around them. And, um, yeah, it helped us a lot throughout the game. Perfect. Thank you very Thank much, you. Emily, and congrats on the win. Thank you. And, of course, last but certainly not least is Claire Pinney herself. Now, Pinney, individually, you had drawn countless, countless fouls, myriads of them. So I was hoping you would also describe to us that sort of style of play that you had approached within these 90 minutes. Yeah, um, I think obviously playing a team uh, like the Dutch Lions, they are have a lot of physical prowess and I may be on the smaller side, but I think in a game like this that works to my advantage where I'm able to use my speed to get around them, but then when defending, the refs are seeing that they're bigger than me and oftentimes that can work in our favor. So a modern fullback at the finest, in other words. Now, speaking of fullbacks and back lines, you guys escaped this match. Escaped? No. Really clinched this match with a clean sheet. 6 nothing. What does a clean sheet mean here to Downtown United Soccer Club and to you as well? Um, I think it's really important. Uh, I actually don't play outside back normally uh, at my university. So being able to come away with a clean sheet uh, with a back line of girls that don't normally play together, I think that's... Uh, really telling as to how we're able to adapt to the game and learn to work with each other. And obviously in a game like this, our keepers come up big with multiple saves. And I think the calmness that we were able to show in the back was really important. When we would win the ball, I think we cleared it when we had to, but we were also able to settle down, build, and then play out. So I guess the follow-up there would be how vital is chemistry as as well as versatility to this Downtown United Soccer Club side, given that a lot of these players are, for example, ex-Ivy Leaguers, as well as, you know, play for the same team, for example, such as Columbia University. Yeah. 
Um, I think that's something that is a given when you're joining a summer team. You're obviously playing with girls that you've never played with before, in our case, played against often before. But I think that is something that's really important just for all of us as players to be able to jump into these games and adapt right away, learn to play with each other. And I think communication is key in a lot of these scenarios. I was lucky to play um, on the side of August Hunter today, who I actually play against in, in the, the Ivy League. Yes. Um, and I asked her specifically, over-communicate to me, like I'm not used to this position. Let me know what I can do better, where you need me to shift. And she was super helpful with that. Same with Sydney Urban. And I think we were able to work with each other because we were open to any criticism and feedback that we had to give to one another.